as you can see here our piece of pipe is a very rigid piece of pipe not very flexible at all in about a minute and a half we're going to turn that into a, a big piece of two inch spaghetti so we've got our torch lit cranked up we're basically going to, going to slowly apply heat and you have to really be careful when doing this to make sure that you don't hold the torch in one place too long because it will burn the pipe in just a matter of a, a split second if you hold it on there just too long. Billy's been doing this for years. He's heat bent thousands of feet of pipe. You know, he's very experienced. And you see he rolls the pipe every once in a while. The objective being to obviously to try to heat it on all sides you stay on one side too much what you end up with is a piece of pipe that's soft on one side and rigid on the other and, and that's not going to bend too well so he'll go up and down the pipe a couple times and uh, constantly roll with his foot and uh, as the pipe starts to soften a little bit you'll start to see that he'll, he'll be testing uh, for softness with his foot takes a few minutes. It's in the mid 40s today out here. Uh, so it takes a little bit longer in mid-January than it does uh, to do this in the middle of summer. You can basically get this torch from uh, a tractor supply. I think that's where we get ours from. They normally run about $50. And we do this, uh, we heat bend our rigid PVC as opposed to using flexible PVC because we feel that rigid pipe is, is much more suitable for underground use for several reasons. Uh, you can check out uh, one of our blogs uh, entitled Rigid PVC versus Flexible PVC, which is better. And uh, that's been a pretty popular one that we've done. And, and this is the way that we get around uh, using flex pipe in these tight situations when you have to bend and flex around pools where there's not much space to work we just break out our torch here and uh, create our own flex pipe and what you get with that is the best of both worlds essentially you get a stronger piece of pipe that will do whatever you want it to do as long as you know how to do it right you can see our pipe is starting to starting to change shape there a little bit um, here in just a second uh, you'll see that it really starts to uh, change how hard it, uh, it is. It's going to start to get a lot softer. There you go. You can see Billy testing it with his foot there. Yeah, we're, we're getting spongy. We're getting close. The key here, especially, especially this time of year, is to take that piece of pipe and uh, with gloves on because it's uh, kind of toasty. But to take that piece of pipe and quickly place it into, into, into place. So uh, it's to beat the temperature. It doesn't take long for that baby to, to cool off. And once it does, you're, you're stuck with what you have. You've got to basically start all over again. One other pointer, it's also critical that you do not heat bend the pipe. That you stay at least a foot away from the end of the pipe when you're heat bending. Uh, if you get close to the end and the end of that pipe malforms at all, what you have is a, is a piece of pipe that's not going to fit into the fitting the way it should. And you can see our pipe is highly flexible. The guys got their gloves on. And there we have it. There's our piece of pipe that uh, about three minutes ago was stiff as a board and couldn't have bended it if we wanted to. Now it's wrapped right around that pool. Nice and pretty.